Okay, so let's let's try going Air Raider for a bit. Airborne Fighters Part 1. Oh. This might not actually work. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look at that! Fireballs are coming down! Are those enemy mobile weapons? Why does it have to drop here of all places? Just right above us. Shitty luck. Have we been cursed? Oh, are these the weird spidery mechs as opposed to Hector's? This up. might be interesting. But they're the... starting to walk. Enemy robots. They're walking over the buildings. They're walking over the buildings. Are those long legs designed to avoid obstacles and move uh, free? Ow. Robots that could Right, so they've got the mortars. Terrain? Can't believe they created these fearsome machineries. And they have deployed thousands of them. This might really be the end of the humankind. It's got cannons on the legs. The legs aren't just for walking, but they're equipped with cannons too. Aim at their feet! Destroy the cannons on them! I shoot. Holy crap! I'll check on your wound later. Did I pick the right loadout for this? Mostly, I'm dying. Yeah, I'm dying. I'm quite dead. Okay, so I I picked the right stuff, sort of. Um, I just can't get close to them. Look at that! Fireballs are coming down. At least we know which works. Spritefall might almost be a good idea. Just going with some like really. Well, no, Spritefall works based on re on uh, point based reload as opposed to reload speed. I really wish all of them actually worked on a timer, and then just kills would make the timer go faster. Are they actually with me, or...? They're standing up! I don't know. They're starting to walk! Enemy robots! They're walking over the buildings! They're walking over the buildings! Are those long legs designed to avoid obstacles and roam free? Robots that can fight regardless of the terrain? Can't believe they created these fearsome machineries! And they have deployed thousands of them. This might really be the end of the humankind. It's got cannons uh. on the legs! Okay. Gotta get that bulge laser going. Okay, there's one down. Okay. Wow, that bulge laser goes forever. Kind of nice, actually. Alright. Auto cannon. I'm gonna see if I can take out the legs. It is hilarious having a sky shotgun. But it works incredibly well. Of course, we've got more of them. Yeah, I wonder if the nagling would, wouldn't work really well against these guys as well. Okay, so there's another one. Auto cannon, still don't. Okay, he's dead. That's good. Next one. God, these weapons are extremely strong. Bolts later. Reloading complete. The enemy sent out mobile weapons again. DE two zero two to air raiders. I'll wait for okay. up here. 
This game seems fine enough, but the NPC dialogue is irritating. It's very repetitive. It makes it very hard to commentate over. The I... enemy's strength was greatly reduced after we destroyed the leg cannons. Focus fire on their legs. Can't stop shaking. You're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah, I really wish I could turn off just incidental NPC chatter. It would work really well. Oh, oh shit, it's here. Something is coming down from the sky. Fireballs! Dropping off from the sky! Okay, this is not a good mission for grabbing things. About to enter the air combat area again. No, it's especially worse if you're an air raider too, because you get a lot of like notifications like your gun is ready, and it's like. Eh. Ah, he walked out of. Oh, and it's dead. Okay, well at least we get this going. Robots are being dropped to the ground. There's a lot of them. Part of it is, uh, whenever a new enemy type shows up, that's when they're especially obnoxious. Is that, like, right here? Oh, it's right on top of us. Oh, God. Okay, I gotta change something here. We want to do rotation speed... Oh. Oh. Oh, it goes past. Not very well. Okay, so I picked the right mech for the job. I absolutely picked the right right mech for the job. Ah, dang. I mean, obviously, these things are still... Hella punchy is. As far as, like, mecha go. Like, this is not something I want to be stalking around the city in particularly quickly. However, if I want to do some harm to War of the Worlds mecha, this was the right choice. There we go. I think that's it, actually. The robots landing across the world have created devastating damage to many regions. If this goes on... But yeah, the NPC dialogue goes from really annoying whenever they introduce a new enemy type to actually almost completely silent. And it's kind of a pain in the ass because you can't really plan on it. Uh, let's see, helicopters, stationary weapons, nah. Not what I'm looking for. Oh well. The vulture seems interesting, but I think, it, yeah, it's a helicopter. You can pick up drops without moving awkwardly over them or getting out. Nice. Yeah, you get a little, uh, you get a little circle that, uh, that more or less picks everything up for you while you're in a mech. It's a really, really good change. Okay, Airborne Fighters Part 2. Mothership Number 2 continues to launch battle robots. We can imagine a bunch of robots will be dropped in the area. All teams should search and destroy the airborne battle robots. They're not exactly airborne. Oh well. I like the bulge laser. I don't know if I'm going to stick to it. It almost. There's more of them. The robots keep increasing. Ready to fight. Okay, I've got to. I've got to go back into the settings. So turning these up does nothing uh, for me while I'm in a while I'm in a mech. I am I'm straight up maximum slow no matter what. We're in fire! Fire! Strike it. 
This type of robot will be called DeRoy from now on. DeRoy! Alright, the auto cannon is pretty damn quick. Their legs are designed with cannons. We should focus on the legs and we can. Shut up! I know about the legs! Attack the legs. Destroy those cannons. Stop with the tutorialing! Damage the robot successfully. Yeah, figure that out. Yeah, I the uh the NPC dialogue is, is awful. Uh it's like Something is coming down. I don't know. Uh I think it's a D-Roy. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's a D-Roy too? It's like um the writing for a lot of this almost is straight out of like a children's show. Bugs me a little bit. Okay, well, at least this one's pretty quiet, initially. I think I missed with the bulge laser almost completely. Now this could suck, I might die. I got too close to him. We'll see how it goes. Oh! Wait! Something is going on up there! DeRoy severely damaged! I can I can retarget the bulge laser! Oh my god, alright, that changes some things. That changes quite a lot here. Are you still alive? No. You are, though. I completely missed your existence. No, duh! The 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 ow, 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 that's bad. Satellite controlled to air raiders, waiting for attack request. Okay, we don't want a bulge laser yet. This would be a bad enemy of bulge laser, sir. Okay, so if you miss with the auto cannons, it's not so bad. Okay, there we go. Please tell me we've got some HP here. Thank you. Please leave it to me next. Shoot watch. Yes, yes sir. 120 millimeter cannon. Fire. Beam. I can fight. This is fighter. Ready for attack. Pretty close. I'm still out of range. One kill. You're good. The bullets don't come out. No. Okay, there we go. Successfully destroyed. Did I kill it? I think I killed both of them, in fact. All systems running a check sequence. We're almost in the enemy spot. Alright. And they're they're asleep, so I can just run around for a bit. I Huh. I was not expecting Air Raider to suddenly just, like, get a handful of tricks that catapult them from being, yeah, pretty strong to, oh god, this is imbalanced nonsense, I love it. <laughs> These things are veritable loot pinatas. Use the mech. Uh, I'll use it later. The main problem with the mech is it's, um... It's very slow, and if I want to pick up all of these, like, uh... If I want to pick up all of these, it would have a big loot radius, yeah. But it would not have the, uh... It would not... It would not actually be faster. It'd be lazy as shit, and I could do that. Hey, remember when Air Raider was near worthless without his vehicles? Oh, I remember. 
There were some moments where you could really just do, like, insane amounts of nonsense. Uh, but these, these ridiculous, well, air raids, uh, that don't work based on a, a long, you know, fill-up meter? Uh-oh. I think they have discovered me. It has discovered me! Your mistake, D-Roy! Yeah, you straight up, like, in four, EDF 4.1, for those of you that have not uh, played 4.1, decent game, really good. Air Raider had some serious problems. Namely, you had to, uh, you had to kill enemies to get your stuff back, which made it particularly brutal if, say, you didn't start with anything. So if you want to do bombing runs, or, say, the Bulge Laser, you had to kill a couple hundred to a couple thousand, or even tens of thousands of points of, of enemies to even, like, afford it. Which, like, honestly, uh, it could have been worse. It could have been much, much worse. Uh, you know, they could have actually worked off of, like, a limited ammo system. Which I don't think I've even seen in this game. Uh, like, I don't, I don't think I've seen anything with limited charges. With maybe the exception of the life vendor, now that I'm thinking about it. Now, do we have... There might be some loot over there. I don't think I care. Alright. Oh, good. That's a Deroy B. The legs are featured with some missile-type weapons. Those missiles aren't fast, but they can auto-correct their trajectory and tag along the targets. Guided missiles? Since they're slow, maybe we can shoot them down. Give it a try. This is no time for experimenting. Never mind. Just look for ways to avoid missiles. Enemies are spotted. Who cares? We destroyed a Deroy. We actually defeated a Deroy with such a small group of people. What an amazing feat! What's the situation now? The mothership continues to drop down Deroys, causing devastating disasters. We can't stop the condition from getting worse. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get that weapon crate. Too far away. Ah, I was actually really close. Okay, so we got a, a new Nagling. Uh, Blacker SBC. Heavy Bunker. Uh, Bulge Laser got an upgrade. Melt Buster got up. Nyx Battle Cannon got upgraded. Uh, let's see. Bulge Laser got another upgrade. Auto Cannon C got an upgrade. Hopefully we got some range on these things. We got a new Rush Core. Cool. Okay, so Auto Cannon C's range just went up considerably. That's exactly what I need. Uh, Bulge Laser's range went up by a decent amount, and the reload speed went down. Yes. Have you Bunker? Let's see. So this is the Nyx Cannon, the guy I was just using. More or less re request time is halved. New Nagling does decent amount of damage. Decent amount. I might give it a go, honestly. Uh, it's a little bit faster, so I can pick up some stuff. And this is a new Rush Core, which... Oh! Weapon charge speed is its slightly different, and I think it's... Regular charge speed is better, too. Flight consumption is pricey, though. Let's see. Why does the game not auto-pick up all loot at the end of the game? Because, uh, it's... I'm not gonna say it's a weird design decision that they're still stuck on. It's not that weird. Hmm. I'm gonna probably hold on to the neutralized cannon just because its range is good. Uh, so I'm actually pretty much in love with everything I've got. Is this nighttime? Looks like it's nighttime. Oh, fleet of teleportation ships has invaded the industrial area. They stay still and low in the sky. They show no signs of activity. We must shoot them down before they attack. But the Operation Mysterious Monsters is on the go. More than half of the troops are f away from the base. So our fighting force is severely limited. We will launch a night raid with only a few soldiers. Use the night as cover to approach and ambush the teleportation ships. Let's see if the bulge laser is enough to take one of these things down. 
If it is, this gets really easy, and if it isn't, then I'll try different things. But yeah, if there's no need to pick up stuff, uh, it would actually turn the game into much more of like... I, I, I feel like it would kind of ruin the tactics in this game. Those monsters act slower at night. It'll slightly increase our chances. And slightly is better than nothing. Commence operation! Launch attack at the teleportation ships. There are monsters in the dark! They are really huge in size. We don't have to millimeter worry cannon. about shooting at the wrong targets. 120 millimeter cannon. Fight. It's pitch black out here. I can't see it. Machine guns. Yeah. Make sure you don't shoot your teammates. I'll just apologize in advance. Strike. Oh, great. We've got them. Target confirmed. Uh, 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 machine guns. Fire. I'm sorry. We failed Operation Mysterious Monster. We've put in our best effort, and yet we still failed to defeat it. Okay. I really want to test with the bolt laser. It doesn't look like it's taking a single point of damage from the bolt laser. Projected path of the mysterious monster. Strike. Yeah, so I'm gonna die, but that's fine. But yeah, it looks like uh the mysterious monster is about to pass this area. It looks like they'll pass through, but they won't actually do anything. That's unfortunate. It's hard to predict. But yeah, I have no means of actually hitting those things. It looks like all my allies have got killed, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna die. The only problem you have with the EDF5 is it's spoiled to you, you can't go back to 4.1. Well, at some point it'll be on PC, so it won't matter. I I really dig EDF5. They did a great job with a lot of these things. It's still lacking in originality in a lot of missions, there's a lot of questionable design decisions that I would disagree with. But of the EDF games, it is by far the best. Okay. Since it's fire from the sky, maybe the ships have shielding on top. Well, in 4.1, you could actually shoot through the ships uh, with certain lasers and stuff. If it did strike through, it would hit them. Uh, not the case in this one. So anyway, uh, let's just go Old Faithful. Let's get rid of the free bike. Honestly, probably in favor of... That... Let's see, Lysander. Yeah, we'll stick with the Lysander. Maybe not the Minion Buster, though. We have a better... I guess the Stork. Stork got an upgrade, too, if I remember right. We'll just go... Stork, or do we want a Shotgun? Shotgun's pretty decent. Let's go... Let's roll Shotgun. Air raids have a hard time with dropships. Yeah, I, technically I could have held out until I, I got my mech, but it was going to suck, and I didn't want to deal with it. Those monsters act slower at night. It'll slightly increase our chances, and slightly is better than nothing. Launch attack at the teleportation ships. Captain Booty Scooty is ready for duty, and everyone's going to die. It's pitch black out here. Can't see anything. Be careful. Make sure you don't shoot your teammates. I'll just apologize in advance. Your monsters in the dark. Okay. They are really huge see if you hear noises in the background. That is Shell coming back from Christmas shopping. We might actually have a tree now. It looks like we have a tree. There it goes. Teleportation ship is destroyed. Raid was a success. Yeah. Ads. I'm sorry. We failed Operation Mysterious Monster. We've put in our best effort. Okay. Yet we still fail to defeat it. I am 
digging the shotgun. Huh? They were bad at first just because that reload speed was particularly punishing. Is right on the projected path of the mysterious monster. Pretty good now, though. Wait, weren't there less ships earlier? The mysterious monster is about to pass this area. Couldn't you inform us earlier? Its route changes all the time. It's hard to predict. Okay, so if I remember right, it's what? Three, maybe four shots to kill this thing. But yeah, now that we're actually getting some, like, level 20 weapons, the shotguns have become significantly more more viable. I didn't even know about the strike-through situation. I'm hoping we can get a shotgun with some hella range at some point. Because that would be kind of fun. Just a, a shot sniper on the ranger. I guess there's a couple of guns that kind of qualify, but... Not quite in the way that I would, I would really say. Right. Ship has been destroyed. We're good. It I don't. Into a ball. Oh. It's towards us. Oh, they are still there. Now is this where we find out mysterious monster is going to Fire murder the me? Monster. Don't let it walk away unscathed. Excuse me. I have better thing. Oh, well, I have better things to do. I'm just not sure if I'm going to be able to do them. Teleportation ship down. I'm going to probably run very far. For oh no. Oh no. Why are you here? Um, man, he is single-minded. I might have to go. I, I'm gonna try this again. Lights on. I know it's a night raid, but who says they sleep at night? Those uh, are slower at night. It'll slightly increase our chances, and slightly is better than nothing. Launch attack at the teleportation ships. Commence operation. Okay, so it's four shots to kill one of these things. Huge in size. We don't have to worry about shooting at the wrong targets. It's pitch black out here. Can't see anything. Yeah, I might have to go wing diver to survive this mission, to be totally honest. I'll just apologize in advance. I'm fairly certain this is the B ship. I can kill the B ship. This gets a I'm lot sorry. easier on me. We failed Operation there we go. Mysterious Monster. We've put in our best effort, and yet we still fail to defeat it. Teleportation ship has been destroyed. Okay. Raid was a success. Let's see, if I take an Fencer for a spin now, he is really fast in this version. I actually this haven't managed to get him to go the fast. Path of the mysterious monster. Like, I'd like to give uh, Fencer a go, the but every time I try and use him, I usually just find out I'm slow and die. Couldn't you inform us earlier? Its route changes all the time. It's hard to predict. Okay, you bring two weapon types, one with a side booster, one with a jump booster. Oh! Okay, I, I get how it works. I guess. That's gonna piss off the ants. Five shots to kill one of these the things. That's coming. annoying. You know, I was really hoping this would be the point where we find out that the mysterious monster is actually, you know, anti-alien Godzilla style. Unfortunately, no. Oh. We're still alive. Man, I love the uh, speed boost on this. Okay, so they're backing off. Ship down. <sighs> Which actually makes this mission Roll easier on ball. me. It's rolling towards us. Uh, 
I just more or less have to actively run. Oh, good. Bees. Fire at the mysterious monster. Don't let it walk oh. away unscathed. Shut up, Commander. You're going to get me killed. Oh god, that's a lot of bees. Um... Well, I gotta outrun them, but there's not a whole lot of, like, alleyways to hide in. Maybe I can get over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my best bet for survival here is... ...to effectively kite the bees. Maybe find a healing item. Oh, God. Problem is, we have no healing items to work with here. Let's see, you can roll out of a sprint to cancel the recovery animation. Oh, that's good to know. And I'm out. Damn it. I think it landed on me. Okay, yeah, we gotta roll Wing Diver, probably. Because I, I, I straight up don't think I have a means of avoiding all of these bees. Okay, so Turbo Core. Probably want the Mirage if I'm dealing with stuff. Do we have a good long range one? I miss my old uh, Plasma Cannon, but it just doesn't do enough damage anymore. Like, I was really hoping I could get a new one. Uh... Because the bolt shooter was too expensive. Mo most of these are just grossly over expensive. I've tried the Stardust Cannon, it's no good. I guess I could go Lightning Bow. Oh. We got a... We got a new core. Is it better? The, not the Loading Core, what about the Rush Core? Light Consumption's a little bit more expensive. And it doesn't have that forward booster, so no, I, I want speed. 